PEOUNW is the central management authority responsible for the development, production, fielding, and sustainment of the Navy's unmanned aircraft, weapons, and target systems. PEOUNW includes 12 program offices. The following is a brief overview of each of those program offices' responsibilities, platforms, and technology areas of interest. PMA 281 is the Strike Planning and Execution Systems Program Office, committed to providing the warfighter reliable strike planning and execution capabilities through operationally relevant, programmatically sound material solutions. PMA 281 is responsible for the acquisition and life cycle management of a range of mission planning, control system, and execution tools that are developed and integrated in partnership with other NAVAIR program offices other services, and foreign nation customers and partners. Technology areas of interest include improved cybersecurity across multiple computer platforms, maintaining information assurance currency, improved multi-domain planning and execution monitoring, manned-unmanned teaming-slash-autonomous vehicle command and control, and improved artificial intelligence and automation for handling the dramatically increasing amounts of data necessary to effectively support complex planning and execution monitoring. The Precision Strike Weapons Program Office, PMA-201, is responsible for research, development, acquisition, and sustainment of the Navy's air-to-ground precision-guided weapons, general-purpose bombs, aircraft armament-related equipment, and all cartridge or propellant actuated devices. Technology areas of interest include, but are not limited to, high-speed weapon technologies relevant to carrier-based tactical aircraft, weapon data link technologies capable in highly contested environments, and technology to enable weapons data link interoperability across legacy and future weapons and or platforms. The Navy and Marine Corps Small Tactical Unmanned Aircraft Systems Program Office, PMA-263, is responsible for the development, production, fielding, and sustainment of the Navy and Marine Corps' Group 1 through Group 3, UASs. Technology areas of interest include but are not limited to those enabling small swap electrical power systems, foliage penetration and ground penetration sensors, and EOIR camera systems, increased ISR coverage, small cargo UAS systems, and air-capable ship UAS recovery systems. PMA-208 provides threat representative aerial targets for fleet training and weapon systems test and evaluation and realistic decoys of strike aircraft to deceive and saturate enemy integrated air defense systems, or IADs. Technology areas of interest include but are not limited to electronics miniaturization, self-healing composites, hypersonics, autonomy for unmanned or manned-unmanned teams, and those technologies that enable the elimination of rocket-assisted takeoff propulsion for targets, cyber target capability, swarm targets, and maximizing target presentations with minimal hardware. The Persistent Maritime Unmanned Aircraft Systems Program Office, PMA-262, is responsible for the development, production, fielding, and sustainment of the MQ-4 Triton, the Navy's high-altitude, long-endurance UAS. Technology areas of interest include, but are not limited to radar system improvements, assured communications, position, navigation, and timing and other technologies, that support distributed maritime operations. NAVAIR's PMA-242 is responsible for the acquisition, development, and sustainment of direct and time-sensitive strike weapons. Technology areas of interest include, but are not limited to those enabling, airborne directed energy weapon systems and extended ranges for the advanced anti-radiation guided missile and the advanced precision kill weapon system. PMA-266 is NAVAIR's program office for multi-mission tactical unmanned aerial systems. PMA-266 has cognizance over the MQ-8 Fire Scout and CQ-24 Cargo UAS. The program office is also responsible for emerging Group 4 and Group 5 vertical lift platforms. 
Technology areas of interest include, but are not limited to interoperable communications enhancements, sense and avoid solutions, and weather detection and avoidance technologies. The Unmanned Carrier Aviation Program Office, PMA 268, is responsible for the MQ-25 Stingray Unmanned Air System. The Stingray will be the Navy's first operational carrier-based unmanned aircraft and will provide a critical aerial refueling capability to the carrier air wing. Technology areas of interest include, but are not limited to data links and interoperable networks, improved sensor performance, mission management, data fusion and correlation technologies, as well as technologies that facilitate manned and unmanned platform integration. The Tomahawk Weapons System Program Office, PMA-280, is responsible for the procurement, development, and sustainment of the Tomahawk Weapons Systems. Tomahawk is the U.S. Navy's surface and subsurface launched, long-range, precision strike standoff weapon. PMA-280 leads all efforts surrounding Tomahawk all-up round, weapons control systems, system of systems integration, and fleet asset and control station management. Technology areas of interest include but are not limited to those enabling maritime automatic target recognition, miniaturized electronics to free up more space for payloads or fuel, and government-owned range safety and telemetry. PMA-202 is the Aircrew Systems Program Office, which serves as the premier organization for human performance optimization and enables the Navy and Marine Corps to be combat effective by providing and sustaining aircrew systems that work the first time, every time. PMA-202 analyzes, develops, and executes innovative solutions that ensure warfighters are equipped with aircrew systems that are ready to fight tonight through all phases of naval aviation, with the capability and capacity to win the future. Air crew systems areas of interest include technology that improves mission endurance, sustained optimal performance, and provides protection in all naval environments. Technologies of interest also include those that provide clear communications from the carrier deck to the cabin, and human system modeling and simulation to optimize air crew and maintainer performance and protection. PMA-259 is the Air-to-Air -Air Missiles Program Office, responsible for the acquisition, development, and sustainment of air-to-air -air missile systems. PMA-260 is the Common Aviation Support Equipment Program Office. Areas of interest include data analytics and machine learning, diagnostics and prognostics, high-performance computing, cybersecurity and encryption, robotics, additive manufacturing, Augmented reality technologies to assist the maintainer and improving and automating calibration processes. And lastly, all programs are interested in technologies enabling increased reliability and maintainability, and reduced life cycle costs.